What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, I'm Tori from Florida. Hey, Tori, how you doing? Hey, I just want, so everybody's really shitty about the uh, whole Kamala Harris thing. And, but what everyone needs to remember, if we actually flip the Senate to the Democrats, Bernie Sanders becomes the chairman of, of the Senate Budget Committee, which is a little bit more power than the vice president, kind of almost handing our man the checkbook. So that's how important it is. Everybody's upset about, but we still need to get out there and we have to flip that Senate. It's really important. We give Bernie the checkbook. I remember him saying on the campaign trail, Medicare for all could be done through budget reconciliation. So maybe we should work on that. Yeah, uh, get, get a Bernie that seat and also, uh, you know, get Nancy Pelosi out of there and vote for Shahid Buttar. Yeah, good maybe call. There should, I, maybe I there should be like a... A move. Maybe there should be like a movement that that frames electing Democrats in that way for the left. That could possibly be. Uh, that, well, you know, let's... one of the reasons I wanted to call because, like, I like I hear all this, this stuff about Kamala Harris and all this, and progressives are mad. But thing is, we have to look at the power we can take, and we have to move forward towards taking that power. Putting right. Bernie in that seat is really taking a big step towards getting what we want. Great point. Yeah, and uh, I want to play this Jessica, Jessica Rain for Senate ad here, because uh, if you want to hurt Joe Biden, if you're pissed at Joe Biden, you could like try to send him a message by not voting for him. I'm sure he'll really you know, give a shit. Um, uh, real quick, too. Don't forget wait, 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 about uh, Paul what? Jean Swergen in West Virginia. OK, cool. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, but uh, but Jessica Rain here I'm gonna let you can, go, buddy. can knock out. Uh, Thank you can knock out Chris Coons, which is uh, who's the guy who's like, I don't know if we should have allowed all this franchise. I don't know if it's worked out. Um, and the franchise uh, is hard. Yeah, it's hard. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. He was just lamenting how hard it was. Not that he didn't want it. Like the idea of having people vote anyway, Jessica rain and people like, this is a pandemic. People need to open their uh, ideas up about which races are winnable. I think like, I'm not saying like Shahid's definitely going to be Pelosi, but like, sh- the world is going up in flames right now and people are going to get wor- madder and madder at the incumbents. So com- let's play this for Jessica Rain. My name is Jessica Skarain and I'm a Democrat running for U.S. Senate because I know a better future is possible. We are in the middle of a pandemic and struggling with a public health crisis when far too many of us are uninsured. We're struggling with an economic crisis where people are working two and three jobs just trying to keep a roof over their heads. And we're in the midst of a racial justice crisis where people are demanding change and getting brutalized by our government. But these issues didn't just start with COVID. They aren't new. I saw them as the board president of a nonprofit focused on the needs of girls from under-resourced neighborhoods. And I've been all over Delaware and talked to people from all different types of communities. And yet, the stories I hear are always the same. We need to address those root causes and fix those problems rather than continually treating the symptoms. I grew up the oldest of three sisters, and that taught me the importance of taking care of each other and looking out for the more vulnerable people in our lives. And it's more important now than ever that we take care of each other so that everyone in our country can thrive. It's time to guarantee healthcare as a right with Medicare for All. We need to raise the minimum wage to at least $15 an hour and expand social security. We need to demilitarize our police and end private prisons. We need real climate action now. While my opponent takes money from the very industries that are responsible for the problems we need to solve, my campaign is entirely funded by real people like you. This is about us, regular working people taking back power. And as your senator, I will fight for a better future. It starts with your vote on September 15th. It's a good political ad, yeah. Also, so one her. thing that, that strikes me is, I, I guess, I mean, I knew there were still more primaries coming up, but just seeing September 15 there on, on the screen, one thing, you know, that I, I try to take a look on the bright side of things, as people know, obviously that's why I named my podcast Doomed, uh, but <laughs> I try to look on the bright, bright side of things. And one thing from this pandemic that, that, that happened was, we really, these states really spread apart their primaries. And I think that's been really good for the left because we've been able to jump from one primary, spend a few weeks on that, 
to another primary, spend a few weeks on that, to another primary, spend a few weeks on that, yeah. and on and on and on. And I, th- I, I hope, I mean, it's probably not once they see how many uh, Justice Democrat uh, endorsed candidates end up winning at the end of this uh, election season. Uh, it probably won't stay this way, but it, it should. The primary shouldn't all be piled on top of each other over the course of like uh, two, two and a half months, you know, it, it's. Or at least it should just be later. Maybe like, yeah. I mean, it's just, you see why they wanted to wrap up the presidential primary early, <laughs> um, yeah. you know, like the longer, because I feel like the longer you expose things, I mean, Bernie rose throughout 2016 until it ended, right? Like people just liked him more and more and more. I mean, it's weird. I, I feel some like, um, I don't know about you, but I feel some envy toward the UK system of elections where it's like, oh, we just decided, uh, Parliament can just decide or the Prime Minister can just decide to throw an election. Um, and it and in three weeks or whatever it is, they'll have an election. Whereas we, it's like we know for eternity when every election is going to be and the corporate sort of apparatuses can line up all their cash and get ready for it. But like, it seems like there's something... The longer thing, the longer Americans pay attention, um, the smarter the choices they make. Again, I like. I mean, I just, I just keep coming back to the Cory Bush victory, um, mm-hmm. and how like people chose Cory, and that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, they did. I mean, also shout out to the movement in the streets. Like, why didn't she win this time around? And why did she win this time around? Uh, running on a platform of racial justice, defunding the police, redistributive programs. I submit it had a little something to do with the massive movement in the streets right now in favor of black lives and other things as well. Yeah. If we knock Coons out, I mean, that I, I mean, I've been thinking about Pelosi just cause I, I really don't like Nancy Pelosi, um, but that's a long shot for Shahid. But um, I mean, I, I'm sure Scarane's, I mean, I think Scarane's doable. I mean, people like uh, I think Bobby Big Wheel said on Twitter, um, this the other day, like, like we're in a type of firm, like we're, usually in elections, it's like, well, we don't know what could happen. Something big could happen before the election. We know big things are going to happen before the election and it's probably going to hurt the incumbents more than it already has. All right. Hopefully. <laughs>